very few eyes have seen what we're about to. You can only get here by boat. This cleanup vessel has got a gigantic vacuum and it's sucking all the dead salmon from the farms up and then it's spewing out the residue. There are slicks of salmon oil in the water and we saw what looked to be pieces of salmon there too. But the Norwegian company that owns the fish farm says what's coming out of that ship doesn't contain anything more than small salmon particles. The water that carried those mortalities into the boat gets ejected over the side. That's simply salmon pigment. Uh, it dis dissolves. It's not an environmental risk. Uh, there's no concern there in terms of disease because this wasn't a disease event. It was temperature that killed the fish. The smell of rotting salmon is putrid. But fishermen here are worried about more than the smell. They want to know what this could do to the fishing grounds in the area. I got fish herring, I fish lobster, and I fish scallop. So what did it is to just settle down and pollute the bottom? We don't know. Nobody's telling us nothing. The union that represents fishermen has a lot of questions too. It's clear that it's having some impact outside of the cage sites. We just got to know exactly how much and is there a reason for concern. This environmentalist says he wants to see ocean fish farming pens phased out completely. The coastlines are buried in fat for many, many miles. There's dozens and dozens of cages that have been affected. Um, it's, just, it's just horrendous. It's horrendous. It's appalling to see that this, this, this is occurring in such a pristine, beautiful area. There's no official estimate on exactly how many salmon died. The fish farming company says the salmon died because the water became too warm for too many days. It says it plans to take measures to prevent the problem from happening again. But for now, it's got to get a lot more dead fish out of the water. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, Ron Condor East, Newfoundland.